Daily Words of God I have a lot of hopes. I hope you can conduct yourselves in a proper and well-behaved manner. Faithfully fulfill your duty. Possess truth and humanity. Be people who can give up everything they have and even their lives for God, and so on. All of these hopes stem from your insufficiencies and your corruption and disobedience. If none of the conversations that I have had with you has been sufficient to attract your attention, then it is likely that all I can do now is to say no more. However, you understand what the results of that would be. It is not often that I rest. So if I do not speak, I will do something for people to look at. I could make someone's tongue rot, or cause someone to die dismembered, or give people nerve abnormalities and cause them to look hideous in so many ways. Then again, I could make people endure torments I have brewed up specifically for them. This way, I would feel glad, very happy, and greatly pleased. It has always been said that good is repaid with good and evil with evil. So why not now? If you wish to oppose me and make some judgment about me, then I will rot your mouth, and that will delight me to no end. This is because, ultimately, what you have done is not the truth. Still less has it anything to do with life, whereas everything that I do is the truth. All my actions are relevant to the principles of my work and the administrative decrees that I set forth. Therefore, I urge each of you to accumulate some virtue Stop committing so much evil and heed my demands in your free time. I then will feel joyful. If you were to contribute to truth even one thousandth of the effort that you put into the flesh, then I say you would not frequently make transgressions and have rotted mouths. Is this not obvious? The more transgressions you commit, the fewer opportunities you will have to obtain a good destination. Conversely, the fewer transgressions you make, the better your chances become of being praised by God. If your transgressions increase to the point that it is impossible for me to forgive you, then you will have utterly wasted your chances of being forgiven. As such, your destination will not be above, but below. If you do not believe me, then be bold and do wrong, and see what that gets you. If you are a person whose practice of the truth is very earnest, then you surely will have an opportunity to be forgiven for your transgressions, and you will disobey less and less frequently. If you are a person who is unwilling to practice the truth, then your transgressions before God will surely increase in number, and you will disobey more and more frequently until you reach the limit which will be the time of your total destruction. This will be when your pleasant dream of receiving blessings will be ruined. Do not regard your transgressions as the mere mistakes of an immature or foolish person. Do not use the excuse that you did not practice the truth because your poor caliber had made it impossible to do so. Moreover, do not simply regard the transgressions you have committed as the acts of someone who did not know any better. If you are good at forgiving yourself 
and treating yourself with generosity, then I say you are a coward who will never gain the truth, nor will your transgressions ever cease to haunt you. They will keep you from ever meeting the demands of the truth and cause you to forever remain a loyal companion of Satan. My advice to you is still this. Do not pay attention only to your destination while failing to notice your hidden transgressions. Take transgressions seriously and do not overlook any of them out of concern for your destination.